Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Veldak? Uh, we live? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to be back after the, uh, the most sudden and brief but violent storm I have ever experienced. Knocking out our power for a whole day and change. Uh, I have been doing some stuff off stream, just kind of, just kind of pushing bottlenecks around and stuff, you know, taking our time, trying to get things a little bit closer to the end. Uh, I've now, what is that? Yep, yeah, no need to panic, we're fine now. Uh, yeah, but we've got, um, let's see, two Holmium outposts, uh, one Iridite, uh, two Vitamolange, one stone, one coal, uh, and I think that's it for now. Uh, we've got those directly linked by, uh, Arco, uh, Arco chests. No more spaceships needed to bring coal in, for example. I made a little exception, uh, we don't allow coal that comes from coal core fragments to be deleted. Oh, missed a spot. Uh, like the coal that comes out of other core fragments as a byproduct, that can get turned into matter, uh, if we've got too much of it, but... We're basically treating the coal that comes directly from coal core fragments like, uh, as if it was coming out of a finite mine. Uh, we're not sending it straight to the bin, basically. Uh, what else? I don't think we did the same for stone. I mean, maybe I will if stone ever becomes a problem again. At all. Um, if, if, if these containers actually end up draining out a bit, but as it is, yeah, we're not even, uh, we're not even getting rid of this, which means we're not getting more vanilla core frags here, but that's okay because I had to add more, uh, we, we actually had to add not so much more core fragment processing blocks, although I did, um, but... We're still struggling to delete rare metals fast enough. Uh, raw rare metals, that is. Or maybe we're just about catching up now. Because everywhere we looked, vanilla core frags were being blocked by too much raw rare metal output. Uh, and therefore, vanilla core frags would pile up and we'd stop getting holmium, for example. I am the sky, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I think one of our, uh, one of our larger Holmium outposts, I still haven't... It's not Play-Doh, Play-Doh's pretty big. We could add some more drills to Play-Doh, but, uh, it would be a lot of work for relatively little throughput. Uh, it was probably Orpheus, or maybe I'm thinking of a whole up. It's definitely Orpheus. Yeah. We should probably probably go and crank up our throughput from Orpheus. So, before we chase any squirrels today, let's go do that. While we have a goal in mind, let's get ourselves in motion. And while we're in flight, we can maybe find some other productive things to do. That was a weird way to pronounce productive in that context. Okay. Uh, I don't need to carry this many prod sixes. Oh yeah, and we've been making a few more tier 9 modules. 29, 21, and over 150 efficiencies 
in the pocket. Uh, there's only a few up here, though. I think, yeah, I left a... I left three efficiency nines on this inserter over here. But more to the point... That's it. There's only three plus... Five. Yeah, we're, we're still not that fast for spamming the uh, tier nine modules. Let's see. Mod, what's what's the actual what's the actual module space nine? Let's see, fuel nine. Last hour, point one per minute. A whole point five per minute for the prod nines, and point two per minute for efficiencies. Last 10 hours, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, we should probably get on that spaceship. There's a few... Uh, there's a few more low-hanging fruit kind of uh, core seams that we can tap for Pulmonite. I forgot to check, though. I think... Despite the bareness of this block right here at the moment, which we massively overbuilt. Um, are we actually... No, we're not. Okay, we're not bottlenecked on actual processing of the Holmium, at least. Not for the moment. Is Verb T empty? Verb T has 83k core frags. That's not that many. I don't think the spaceships are struggling to bring them in. Squirrel in 543. Welcome in, Glacial. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, uh, let's go do this before I forget anyway. Um, we're going to... Not Plato. Orpheus. I'm pretty sure Orpheus... Is direct route distance... Did we get rid of all the storage chests? We did. I'm a little concerned that we're missing a few items here, but it looks like it's fine. Alright. Onward to obvious orbit, ETA, five and a half minutes. Nick Knock, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Hello, hello. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna go Orpheus, and we're gonna go add drills like, like this, for example. That's further than I thought it was, but in any case, it's still in the territory that we've already explored. Okay, where can we squeeze this in snugly? I guess this will have to do... Yeah, that's not much better. Let's just put it here. And... Down we go. Corner, right about here. And power poles. Is it going to look less weird if I do another diagonal this way? Maybe. It won't link up across horizontally, but... Actually, I think we should go horizontally from here. And north. Does that cover everything? It does. Fantastic. And that'll be a convenient connection point. Alright, how many more tags are there that we haven't caught yet? One, two, three, four, unless we want to expand even more. How many drills do we have? Entity. Uh, we've already got 15. So we'll have 19 if we cover everything that we can already see. 
16 drills to 25 drills is going from four times to five times the amount that the first drill gives us. So I don't know that it's necessarily worth the trouble, especially on a eh, 4k radius planet. I mean, it's okay. I forget if it was Holmium that we already had our eye on a whole new world, if necessary. I think it probably was. Can I... Radius, please. Because it doesn't matter where it's located. Does Holmium only go up to 4k? It's a moon. It's mo moons only go up to about 4k. Good, good job. Okay. Yeah, because Plato's bigger than that. Holmium. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, Amadeo. I think this is the place that has. No, it's not. But it is a 9.881k radius. Literally almost as big as you can get. And there's already no biters on it. Very cool. Um, there's going to be a lot of water to fill in or work around. But, I mean, the first drill is worth how much? 10.4 per second. Yeah. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Is that before productivity bonuses? I think it probably is. Because we're getting a lot more than like 50 per second from some of our outposts. If we assume it's plus 160% from 10.4. So 27 per second. Uh... It'd be about 135 per second if we have 25 drills. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, but in any case... I, I'm, I'm still kind of flipping a coin on whether we should make literally every outpost, or at least the ones that are not in the solar system. Uh, send the core frags through via Arco Link. It depends how many core frags we keep, not core frags, Arco Spheres, uh, we keep getting from our Arco Sphere launches. Speaking of which, wait, it's already finished. Yeah, uh, we got, it looks like 44, another 44 Arco Spheres from our latest mission uh so we've we've done 500 launches at shadeland now what a shady shady name okay you're gonna oh i see there we go Back it up and head home with our loot. 20 Arco Spheres is what we need for a pair of linked Arco chests. And they're going to get harder and harder to get. More launches, indeed. Welcome in, Valdak. How many, how many Arcos do you have or have found in your run anyway? Arc... Osphere. We've done 716. Uh, that's consumed. We found 783, but we lost a few of them. But yeah, the, the like global diminishing returns are not looking as severe as I feared. So I think we probably can just eventually Arco link all of the core frags. Which is kind of nuts. I mean, if you could produce these things indefinitely, you could literally solve the whole game as far as moving solids around is concerned.
Gopher, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Factorio, fantastic. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we need to go home via... Via Foenestra here. Moon Orbit 1180. After you get to Foenestra. We're actually bottlenecked on the bot recharge. Despite the large robo port. Welcome in, welcome in though. This is just lengthy enough to be annoying to have to wait for to uh, send the ship. Hayako. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of bots waiting for recharge right now. There's so few pieces of floor left to pick up though. Just a little bit more. Uh, how are you out of storage? What? What? Uh, uh, okay. There we go. Mark these for decon. And head home. Beautiful. And that's a wrap for Shadeland. Unless we end up visiting our uh, asteroid fields twice. The Arcospheres. I hope it doesn't come to that. What's our ETA? 30 seconds. Perfect. I have over 1.3 thousand unused spheres or something like that. Oh my god. I did look at your Arcosphere balances. Um, I, I didn't have to. I didn't look at them in that much detail. It looked like they were still using the same balancer logic. Yeah, with the uh, x squared. It was really just the layout that was different. Could be wrong. So what's our bottleneck right now? Are we doing science? We're not doing science. Uh, we're not doing science because... Matter Science Pack 2. This has actually been taking a while to come back. The the Matter Science Pack 2s. Um, we're always short on matter utilization data. Which is always short on this, I think. Nope, it's mag canisters now. Needs. Mag canisters. Secure ca It's scrap again. How are we not moving the scrap? Actually, this needs an upgrade right here. Um, first of all, I'm just going to unlimit this for the moment. And as soon as that's cleared out, somewhat, we'll have the construction train put a splitter there. I think we're only allowing long trains to pick it up anyway. We want to have as much capacity as possible for the byproduct. Speaking of which... Oh, and that doesn't bode well. Oh, even the contaminated scrap is backed up because we're not getting rid of scrap fast enough. Um... Are these... Wide Beacon 2s, yes they are, tier 6 modules. The input belts aren't saturated though. Well this one was, but it's about to run out. Um, I kind of stole this slot here, which was going to be for scrap for basic meta stabilizers. I think that was probably a bad idea, we should move them. Um, although we are using this block here, this quarter block, to process the scrap that we make on the ground, which I think is mostly just uh, when we make rough data storage substrates. Scrap. 
Scrap as product. It's just here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've got scrap, scrap, scrap that gets brought down by, uh, where is it? By these train schedules. Do we just need to add trains? Maybe? Yeah, we might only have like one train for each of these schedules. Trains and nothing else. Let's add one. I I'm pretty sure all of those only have one train for the moment. You as well. Um, that might be a bit tricky for the moment. All right, put in all of the equipment with a little Mexican wave design so that we put the big things in first so it doesn't get all messed up. Why are you not pointed in the right direction? That That's weird. Uh, and how about we just copy this over here for the moment. So that'll add one train for the left side schedules. I forgot to check if... Yeah, no, we're good. Away you go. Don't really need this here. Uh, and we want one copy of this schedule. Perfect timing. Very good. Electric motors, uh, solar panels, and batteries, so it can accelerate faster. And away we go. So that'll be, uh, I mean, they do have other duties, but the demand for these other things is pretty low downstairs. Um, so that'll be basically six trains with vanilla schedules to take scrap downstairs. It's enclosed, no spheres traveling outside, as in no bot spheres. Sphere bots. Same brain, but there's also safety checks, so it'll never get too unbalanced. Nice. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we'll need to give it a little bit of time to find out. Oh, here we go. I forgot to bring more... More floor. I think we might be able to manage here, actually. If we steal this. This is still way below a, a white belt of uh, scrap, yeah. And do this old layout. And it's slightly imbalanced at the moment, but I, it's probably fine. Actually, I wonder if we could actually get it perfectly balanced without, without going there. Okay, yeah. Fill it up to exactly that amount. And then... Uh, I guess if I pause the game... Hold on. Tyranno Fantastic. Tyranno Fantastic. Mad Dame Salsa, thank you so much for the 17 months. Very much appreciated, thank you. And welcome... Why are we going to Hagen? No, stop. 
Uh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I think it's because I forgot to turn this off. Oh my god. Orpheus or bit again. Thank you so much, Mad Dane. Have you had a chance to look into the draft balancer? The one with only the landing pad? Oh, only one landing pad. It has long end inserters on output and doesn't preload spheres. Um, I, I looked at it and I, I thought, oh, the brain part is just not included in this blueprint bit. Um, because it still had the... It, it seems like the logic was attached to, like, the... The number and the A and Bs that weren't actually being controlled there. As far as I could see, quickly, anyway. Are we already here? What? No. Engage. Getting very hot very quickly. Green was not there yet, just infrastructure. I see, I see. Um, what were we doing? Before the derp and before the 17 very appreciated months and before the... Oh, right, scrap throughput. Oh, right, 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 right. I was trying to find a way to... Yeah, if I jump into the editor... Pause it here. Jump back out of the et the game is not paused. Okay. Good talk. So I guess it's just not going to be perfectly balanced if we do this remotely. Unless it fills up. Uh... Why don't we let that fill up? Oh, a train took some of it as well. <laughs> All right. Let it fill up to that amount, and then just unpause it, and this will be like half a stack off. Whatever. It's. I guess it's as good as it's gonna get already. Until this fills up completely, but we really don't want that to happen. That's why it's a high priority pickup. God damn it. No short trains. There's no need for short trains to pick up scrap, is there? I would imagine. Scrap ingredient. Yeah, it's either going downstairs or it's going here. And the scrap is dropped off over this way. This doesn't request scrap. Okay, cool. No need for short trains here. I guess we could bump it up to, like, 101. Provide stack threshold to make sure there's enough for a train. Regardless, uh, even if we didn't fix the trains, that would run for a bit longer before things jam again. I already put speed nines in here, just not all throughout this build. It's pretty slow making... Uh, mag canisters. 24.7 per second. And we are net negative on secure canisters. This is still this has still got tier 3s in it? Oh no. I already sent the train back. Let's see. Let's see. Um, also, there's only a tier 1 wide beacon over this side. I have a feeling I'm going to have to upgrade some of the belts. Uh, if we crank up the speed on these space manufactories. Output belts shouldn't need any help, though. Pr probably. Yeah, no, they've each got dedicated output belts. I think I'll make a brain not such big block of combinators. Because constant... Combinator with recipe is there already to manage inserters. Uh, that reminds me. Um, something I wanted to... Something I wanted to do as a little test. 
Still 90 seconds out game time from Orpheus Orbit. Uh, if we put in... Rev... Facilities. Uh, it's like 10 recipes, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's not what I was trying to think. My brain is not working. It's too hot. Uh, what we actually want is the recipes that need the Arcospheres. So, Singularity Tech Card. And all of these, I think. The factory must grow. The factory must grow. Evil Player, thank you so much for the 23 months. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. The factory do be growing, although we do try to shrink it in some places. Uh, that doesn't actually use Arcospheres, that one does, and that's just, that, 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 that's the same recipe, it just flip-flops, well, it doesn't reliably, it randomly switches what the outputs are. Same goes for these ones, I think. Okay. And dot. And space warping data, and also wormhole data. Shouldn't there be, yeah, Naquim Tesseracts and Naquim Processors. Okay, Naquim Processor. Uh, so what I want to do... is just give these unlimited everything except a finite supply of arcospheres And see exactly what kind of imbalances we end up with. Just to get an idea of what... If we're going to pair these together, maybe there's some obvious conclusions to be drawn after letting them run for a bit. It's hard to calculate when the actual um, outputs of these things are so random. Uh, Evil Plow, thank you very, very much for the gifted, uh, gifted sub as well. Glacier Wolf, hope you like. Thank you so much. You can use the brain to do simulations? Eh, not really. Because... It's just because some of these recipes, like, uh, this pair here, this thing either spits out Zeta Theta... Or Epsilon Phi. And it's not actually 50-50, which is annoying. That said, if we do it, if we like run a test, is it going to be just kind of random? Let's do something a bit simpler for the moment. Start adding these drills. Uh... The drills are over here, aren't they? We've already got some rail. We need blue belts. I mean, strictly speaking, it doesn't have to be blue belt, but that's been the convention. Signals? I've already got some. Bulk rail loaders. And... Uh, V2 
vanilla train stops. And we'll just come back for whatever else. Can't fly inside, how rude. Okay. I did notice, um, on at least one or two of our worlds, uh, having only three trains, and in this case we only have two, I think. No, we do have three. Uh, it was eventually becoming a problem. Might have to watch out for that. Elsa, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Seems like Twitch are upping the ads. I had 25 seconds when I came in 20 minutes ago. And just had 50 seconds. The setting I had... The only ads I enabled are literally like 30 seconds once per hour. What? Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I could have a look at it right now, but... I haven't touched it in ages. I, I put it on literally just 30 seconds once an hour. That's it. Or well, sometimes I'll activate them when I'm going to go on a break. Again, just a short one. But I have seen things changed. Oh my god. There's so many... Th new, 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 new. Uh, where is it? Uh, one minute per hour. What? Maybe I did leave it on that. But no, that doesn't sound right. You all add some interrupt. I'm sure I didn't put it on a minute per hour. Three seconds is only going to bring you over as I get into it. Okay. It still says one minute per hour. What? Oh, did I not click save changes? Okay. There we go. Rocket Tom, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And thank you so much for the nine months with Prime. Welcome in Twitch, baby. Might have dodged a P-wall and got the normal... Uh... Yeah, I don't know if that's how it works. Honestly, I'm as, I'm as blind as a lot of people. To it might have reset because they just redid it again recently. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time that like settings like that have just been changed under my nose. So don't assume the worst when you jump onto some channel and it's like, oh, now, now they're doing pre-rolls or something like that. The audacity. Duxoxo, thank you so much for the prime sub. Very much appreciated. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. And thank you so much for starting a hype train. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Oh, I was blaming Twitch. Yeah, fair enough. Almost there. And... 
Why is this not powered? Because I missed two power poles back here, and now I can't easily check that this is going to be connected. But uh, that should be it. Alright, back we go. Which turbo is so expensive here? I don't know what it costs. I imagined it would be like five, maybe, surely not ten bucks a month, right? That said, when I looked at the cost of, what was it, YouTube Premium, or whatever they call it, my, my, my expectations were shattered, let's just put it that way. Okay, that is connected to Global. I guess it doesn't even matter anymore, but I, I do like to know, in any case, um... At a glance that we've got like 34,000 core frags sitting in the train stops waiting to be picked up. It's a good rough indicator. Well, not so rough really. Uh, it's a pretty good indicator of uh, how much... How much is available at this particular outpost. Like whether we're consuming it all. I think we'll just branch off from the rail that I just made for this one. Oh, nice cozy fit for, uh, fit for once. Very good. Very, very good. Twitch turbo is 80-90% of two tier one subs in the US. Tier one. It's twelve pound. That's like twenty four thirty bucks or something. And power poles. It's gonna be nice and easy. Oh, beautiful. It's definitely far enough to start flying, though. Fifteen bucks in cat Damn. Turbo's about twelve euro here in Denmark. They're definitely not going for the... Just small enough of an amount of money that you don't really even think about it approach anymore, are they? I don't know how much uh, Twitch Turbo historically has cost, but I mean a lot of things in general. To be fair, uh, that is paying Twitch and not the streamer. Well, I imagine, I imagine some of it gets to the streamers. Depending on who you're watching, right? Oh yeah, I think I... When I was fixing the ad setting, I think I saw something that I was hurriedly rushing past. If people skip ads because of Turbo, I, I do get some kind of cut. If you have Turbo, any ad you watch goes to the streamer. Or skip, I imagine. Yeah, would have watched, yeah. That makes sense. Oh, did I miss... Yes, yes, yes. Did we run out of... No? The bots are just being weird. I wonder how we're doing back at home for Holmium. I imagine it's still just never, ever, ever, ever enough. Yeah. Holmium cables get made really fast, so the fact that we can see almost two train loads here doesn't actually tell us that much. Never enough Holmium. I did manage to... Uh, no rail. 
did manage to uh, shift the bottleneck for heavy composite to um, heat shielding for a little while there. Wait, what? Iridium plate? Oh. Oh, we actually are struggling to keep up with Iridium now. I, I, I'm pretty sure, though, yeah, we need we need to shift some of these bottlenecks because we're drowning in erudite and we're not using it all. So that's a different problem. A better problem, I think, than not being able to get enough erudite core franks. Anyway, back to the task at hand. I need rail and I can't make it happen without going back to the spaceship already. That sucks. Uh, one, two, three, f just three? I think it's just three. After this one. If we don't want to expand our search area. Maybe we should, though? That's not that big of a planet. I think we are going to end up going to, uh, what was it called? I think we are going to go to that 9.8k radius planet for Holmanite. Was six bucks some years ago? See, that makes sense. At some point they cancelled it, never got it after that. Yeah, I, 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 could, I could definitely see... Dropping the cost of a sandwich or less. All right, in we go. Although I guess that metric is failing fast because the cost of everything is just going bonkers. Uh, what am I going to run out of next? Lighted pylons? And I guess we'll find out the hard way for the rest. Did I bring the spider? I did not. Maybe we could borrow a train to get around. That might be a good idea. Yeah, we're going all the way up here, right? Tell you about Turbo, don't prime, prime unlock no commercials two? Uh, yeah, for one channel. You can, you can do, use a prime sub, I think. Welcome in, Jamod. Coffee, good idea? What? All oh, right. I do have my caffeine handy today, at least. Okay, uh, don't forget to connect this, not that it technically matters anymore. And let's head on down to wherever it is we're going to go to connect. I don't know, sh should we... I, I think we probably should scan a bit more. Because how many tags is this? 21. Yeah, we're getting a little bit deep into diminishing returns, but not that bad. If we can find like three or four more drills without going too, too big on the map, uh, I definitely think it's worth making the save a little bit bigger for that. We did put signals at this corner, right? I think I used the same blueprint. Yeah. Where are we going? Probably front right. Cozy. Nice and cozy. Yeah. 
beautiful. Oops. And some power poles. Up we go. And is that lining up badly? It is. Uh, what if we do a diagonal? That's not going to be so good either. Let's just... Let's just pretend we didn't see that. It's not going to be perfectly full length. Alright, so we're going over here. Oop. One too many clicks. I need to find a separate pair of headphones just for summer. Don't cook my brain. Filled with drugs at the moment, got the C? Oh no. Yeah, rest up. Do your best to not make it permanent. Coffee is the best drug? I mean, it is a drug. Caffeine is. Welcome in West Dude as well. Won't be in a grid on a planet I look at once every 50 hours? Exactly. Unacceptable. Unforgivable. Actually, let's put this thing on manual. And we'll just roll on in. And try and put it at just the right pace. So that the bots will actually... Keep Wallace and Gromiting in front of us. No, nope, they're super inconsistent. I hate that. I, I wish at least the player's RoboPort specifically could be a lot more... Uh, a little bit more aggressive in checking for nearby ghosts. So that we don't get this behavior. Because we've definitely got plenty of bots. had that a few weeks ago yeah where we're in the we're in the fo stage of recent policy let's put it that way or at least the beginning of it But I don't want to get started on a topic like that on stream. Uh, this whole train thing isn't working that well. It's... Maybe I should just not count on the bots to do the track at all. Except then we've got the occasional rock. And then they're not jumping out to do the power pulls. I could kill all these ghosts up to here, I guess. Why do you have put so few bots? I don't. I've got over 50. It's like 10 or 20 at a time that are doing anything. We've got four personal roboports in here. I don't know why at the moment they're so slow, uh, but like one thing you could definitely do that would make the bots be slow is... Did we actually get this filled out? We did. Uh, if, if you have loads and loads of uh, floor tiles that are planned out, for example. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be floor tiles, like any kind of ghosts. So this is like 
30,000 tiles, uh, 30,000 different entities that the bots need to place here. Uh, if you have too many things like that, it can kind of overwhelm with the way the bots are scheduled. And they can get to be very slow and inconsistent with responding to what's in front of them. Um, and they get kind of sent out in waves. But uh, I don't know what could possibly be causing uh, the bots to be this slow at the moment. Like, we don't have any 70,000 solar panel bot build projects lying around or anything like that. So, I'm really not sure. In any case, that one is done. There's... haven't found any new drills yet. Yeah, no, I think that was probably a reason I trimmed it back to where we were. Actually, no, you can't trim to an arbitrary point, can you? In any case, there's, I think, only two drills left that we haven't already seen. There's 22 versus... Uh, only 18. So, four drills that we haven't placed yet. Where are the others? There's one way down here. These two way down here we just found. That's not too too far if we just extend from that one. In any case, uh, for this one here, I think we'll extend out from the rail over this way. And for this one, probably extend like so. Uh, helps if we line that up correctly. Is that? That's going to bug the hell out of me if that's not full distance. It's not. Pretend we didn't see it. Behaved like you only had 20 bots in total. Yeah. Um, it's not really the UPS, I mean, maybe that's part of it, but we've seen the bots work much better at 30 UPS than this. I, I don't think that's really the issue. Let's go over here. So that we can go over here. Why odd your UPS at 29? Wait, what? Yeah, it, it, it doesn't necessarily follow that the if the UPS is low that the bots are going to be that slow. Are you actively scanning that surface at the same time? Yes. Yeah, we just started doing that a few minutes ago. Just to see if there's any more relatively low-hanging fruit for the uh, core drills. It doesn't really cost UPS uh, to have more area explored, but it does make the save file bigger, um, and it takes a lot more time to... Uh, to load and save. Maybe... I don't suppose just the number of rail ghosts that I had was enough to make a difference. Because we planned it, like, all the way out to where the drill was. Because I noticed the moment that I placed... Actually, no. I was going to say the moment that I placed ghosts next to me right there, the bots did respond. But I think they normally do that. Like, if... If, if your robobots are in range the moment you place the ghosts, the bots tend to be very responsive. So I guess we could do it like this. 
Yeah, look, that's pretty damn consistent. It's the way they're dispatched when there's lots of ghosts and or who knows what else. The triple F was a bit exciting. Um, it looks like we have the pieces in place now, or will have when that update happens, to basically be able to do LTN yourself in vanilla. Uh, that's cool. Did we power that other drill? Oops, if we power this drill. Yeah, we did. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Can scanning mess with the bots? I don't think so. I think it's just going to be a bit of a drain on UPS in general. As far as I know, there isn't like a deprioritizing of bots as the UPS gets lower. So in game time, it shouldn't take any longer for them to do things relative to the UPS. As far as I know. Which doesn't necessarily mean anything. That's a cozy fit. Alright, uh, I think... This time... This time, let's not make ghosts all the way out. We will put down ghosts for the power poles. That's cozy. And where is that train? Actually, this is not that far away, is it? It kind of is. That's why most people doing circuit logic for trains use push logic. Push based is much simpler logic and easier on UPS. As in like event driven? Can you do LTN yourself? I think the triple F still covered a push based instead of pull based system. Uh, it might be a bit tricky but I remember trying to do it in vanilla ages ago and basically coming to the conclusion that if only there was a way to uh-oh no, wait we're good wait what are you i i i don't what i i don't remember ever making a temp stop here wait wait Okay. I, I guess we're doing this now. Just... Just... Just just go up the elevator when you're done. Nope. Did we break the sound thing? By break, I mean... I foolishly trusted... The sound program to run in one click like it usually does, but sometimes it says, hey, there's an update. Give me attention as you open seven other programs to get ready for streaming. Okay. Where is it? Nope. Nope. There we go. Sorry about that. Did you know that updates are designed to ruin your life? Yes, honestly. Um, generally, not a fan of automatic updates. There's a whole lot of I'm helping going on from 
various software providers. And I don't mean just fuckery. I mean when when they when they mean well. Often uh, forced updates can really mess things up. I don't understand why so many programs are so bad at handling updates. Yeah. It is generally not a bad idea to turn auto updates off and just like wait and see. Let let other people be the canaries in the coal mines. But sometimes that's not even an option. Not a fan of updates that change settings without telling me. Yeah. On a less technical uh, side of it, I'm struggling to remember which game in particular. Oh, actually, the most recent example was uh, MechWarrior 5. Not the game itself, but a mod or set of mods. Uh, they balked it so completely that... By the time it was fixed, I just wasn't into the game anymore. Like, I'm over it for now. Alright, so we've got one, two, three drills down here. Yet to be placed. One way up here. Should we continue from this piece of rail? Probably. And should we maybe stop scanning now? How many, how many is this? 24. If we get one more, it's exactly five times what the first drill would have given us. It's kind of oddly satisfying. Looks like people have forgotten how we used to place rails while riding the loco. I mean, I remember Fall. Which would, like, instantaneously plow all the trees and everything as well. Necquarry is too loud to fall asleep to. Indeed. The classic, naturally. Uh, I guess I went ahead and did the ghost thing. I just want to measure this out, though. I need to know where the corner's going to be. Oh my god. Corner. Corner. And... Don't forget signals. I'm pretty sure we already put signals back here. We did. And power poles. And probably like this. Uh, that looks really good. I wish we could connect the cables while these are still ghosts. Like, just plan them out like that. That would be very convenient. I don't think Hax has played a lot of Factorio Vanilla. Depends on your definition of a lot. I mean, I played it on and off for years before actually streaming it. One of those games I you know, get into for, I don't know, weeks, and then drop for months, or several months, and then do it again. More or less. Just have a cable in the blueprint? Yeah, but, like, the blueprint, uh, connecting back here, this is a wide beacon, so the blueprint didn't connect these, and then I wanted to just connect that before, like, without having to build it first, or get a blueprint involved.
Yeah, we should probably just... Oh my god. If you can't tell by the clumsiness, it's difficult to think in this humid heat. Okay, did we not bring another drill? Didn't, didn't I bring like five drills or something? Oh, I guess we already added that many. Fair enough. Uh, let's summon a taxi. It's good to double check that we have path here anyway. Passenger present. Oh my god. Click on it. There we go. And then up the elevator, because why not? It's not like it costs us cables or anything. Not on any scale that we've noticed for a thousand hours, anyway. I thought we broke Orpheus in the meantime. But no, we're just bottlenecked on actual core frag production. I'm pretty sure... Um, yeah, these go to train stops as well. I, I set it up so that they have to have a, at least a hundred before they bother outputting to the train stop instead of direct belting up here. And it looks like that's never happening. But... Even, even if, like, this was saturated, the trains would still be dropping them off where they're needed. Uh, Null Cascade, welcome in, if I didn't say so, by the way. How much is... Everyone looking forward to delayed cliff explosives. Delayed cliff explosives. Wait, I need to get something from the ship. Uh, what was it? Drills. Well, that's literally all the drills we came with. That'll surely be enough, right? Nine more drills. Yeah, definitely. Once you go past, like, 25 drills, it's getting a little bit sketchy. Whether it's worth the trouble. So there are three tags down here. One over here. That's actually pretty convenient. There is a rail... There's two rail signals missing over here. Which is just as well, because this was still functional. Um, but in any case, I'd definitely like to bring this over this way. And what's the best way to lay this out? I think, I think we need to drive past it. And then we get a nice cozy fit. Neat. Uh, did we fix this one? No, it needs a drill still. Actually, I don't know how long till this train's gonna move. Alright, first go over here. Ospec, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I think, th I think it's the sheer distance for some of these outposts that's the reason that we would need more than three trains.
normally to see the third way you have to go to a new player stream but t -Hex delivers it every time the third way as in take a third option okay in we go welcome in philip b good to see you again hope you're doing well double check that all of this connects three and four and then we want to go way down here uh which we don't have path to right now because because normally we only go through the yeah okay um how about you know what just just go up the elevator there are three ways to play factorio my way the wrong way whatever the hell you call that abomination you are doing thank you how many tags is this 25 I think we can settle for 25, yeah. Uh, how many drills, rather? So, stop scanning. We'll trim the surface once we're done. That's five times the amount that the first drill would spit out. We'd need to go to 36 to add one more time. I don't really want to go that far. I don't know if there's even going to be 36 core seams on a 4k radius planet. Uh, how far is this? Kind of far. Way over here, please. I added that temp stop at the wrong spot. No? Should probably check on scrap since that was the problem that uh matter science 2 traces back to judging by the fact that we're still making secure canisters uh that's probably fine i think this is actually working properly because at the moment i still haven't put the modules in on the right side it's a little bit bottlenecked on those uh, more than a little bit bottlenecked we should probably fix that Meant to do it earlier. We'll park our construction train over here. And before we forget, scrap. Scrap is being processed. It looks like it looks like we've probably caught up. Uh contaminated scrap was backed up before. Now it's gone. Good. Storage, scrap. That's actually a lot of places to look because most of them aren't a train load. But I think as long as we are able to keep spamming secure canisters and this is basically empty, that's probably as good an indication as we need that scrap is getting handled. Okay, could you please... I don't, I don't know, let's put in some tier 6 modules in the space manufactories. And then... Why, why don't you have tier 6 mod modules? What... Okay, let's have a look. We've got a thousand speed six modules here. The, the, the bulk rail unloader is disabled, so the construction train should have been loaded. I think it's this one? No? Oh, here it is. 
50-50. One stack each of speed and efficiencies goes in the back. When does the train get here? Here we go. Oh, it definitely got stuck loading somewhere. What's it stuck on? Storehouse? Why do we not have a storehouse? We've got 30 storehouses. Don't tell me. They're in the green chest, aren't they? I think I might have changed the request for these. No, it's only like five. So should we disallow more than a few because we're only requesting to make like 30 or something? That's probably it. Yeah, we're aiming to make 30 storehouses. Uh, there's supposed to be five in here or so. And we probably whitelisted way more than that. And the bots don't move things from green chest to green chest. There's your problem. I don't understand how we didn't run into this problem sooner, but that'll do. Uh, Boshaza, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, so presumably we'll get our modules now. And... Let me just borrow this train. Forward is forward. Make a little diamond over here. Power points. Like so. And... Uh... Is that gonna reach? Hold up. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, four, five. That might just connect. Let's see. Can and Kane lives. I thought it was Canella Viz or something. Kane lives, welcome in. I feel like uh, a little be playing Factorio for. I'll be playing Factorio for several decades, indeed. I mean, if they keep the trickle of updates coming, maybe. Uh, the bots. Get in there. All right, is this going to reach easily? That looks all right, I think. Uh, is it covering? It is not. Boo, and furthermore, his. Uh, like this. There we go. Already got our core frags in. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's everything except for these three down the bottom. Let's just double check. We have 22 drills. And frags 25. Fantastic. Nothing hits like Factorio, Dyson, Severe Program's new update didn't do it for me. It's been a while since I played DSP. 
Satisfactory definitely didn't do the scaling like Factorio does. In we go. And we want to go all the way... Well, I guess we're not going to be able to... We're going to have to, like, back up and stop here because of the way the tracks are laid out. Because there's no actual T intersection there. Satisfactory is just so pretty. Yeah, it's it's chill to hang out in. Love to explore it. Building wasn't so nice, but last I played was pre-blueprints. Yeah, me too. Yeah, at first I didn't like the idea that there's one map, period. But... Rather than some procedurally generated stuff, you know, procedurally generated terrain soup, uh, it was kind of nice to explore an area that had a bit more care in it, in its construction. Managed to stay away from Factory for almost eight months, but as winter comes, I tend to play with belts on my laptop. While sitting on the couch by the oven. Interesting. Uh, I thought I placed that backward for a second there. Here we go. Wait. That's probably fine, if we want to do the usual signals here. Or we could just not even bother with the signals on this side. No, it's probably fine. Yeah, it fits easily enough. Let's go. Uh, and then we need some... power pole planning. Oh, of course... Of course we're now extending from this spot where we had like a... Kind of a non-uniform placement of this power pole. Now I don't like it. Let's see. If we do a diagonal... Almost can't see what I'm doing. One, two, three, four, five... Well, I guess I could just keep it so that that's lined up. I want it to be about here. Is that actually diagonal? Actually, we already have a measuring stick for that. E no? No. So about there. And then this goes over here. And that reaches and looks relatively nice. Cool. That trucker ain't no fool. Wait, what? That is a long story for a Twitch chat. Alright, uh, so we're going to have our power pole. Oh, we're also going to want corners to go over this way. Should probably plan this out first. Oop. Which way are we trying to face? That's pretty good. And it doesn't necessarily have to stick out that far. But I don't see why not. And we'll just bring it out here and then down here. Getting confused as to which way these things are pointing. There we go. Uh, I guess this will do. Okay. 
So that is going to connect way back here. That's going to go there. And the rest should be pretty easy to line up. Uh, I don't think the pole here is not going to, like, reach those. Nah. So maybe on this side. Where are my power poles at? Down we go. Just like this, I suppose. Alright, let's get to actually building it. The weight of a battery for a truck is too much. What, like an electric truck to power it all the way? Or are you just saying it's kind of heavy? Bots are so... I don't want to say schizophrenic. But they're a little bit hit and miss. Alright, there's our drill. There's our power. Connect it, even though we don't need this system anymore. I just like to know what we've got. 55k core fragments accounted for on the planet. Oh, and I guess we're filling our train with core fragments slightly. That's okay. Hello, hello, Dilka. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Maybe I'll just run the rail out this way without stopping. And then we'll bring the power poles on the way back. Get in here. Alright, poles are going to look... Eh, that's kind of awkward, actually. I think we'll just stretch it out from here. And... That one's going to need a diagonal, I think. That's not going to reach, is it? No way. Which means we definitely need another one. How about here? That doesn't look too bad, I guess. Uh. Oh. I thought it... The Holmanite color made me think there was a ghost where the core drill was supposed to be. I thought we'd run out of drills again, which uh, didn't add up. I really should bring the Spidertron for this. You've got the green wire at the top left corner. Top left corner. You mean this? I, I can't place it yet. Oh, there is green wire, actually. But it, like, the graphic for it disappears when there's still a ghost here and we can't see the ghost. Yeah, we're still connected to global. Or do you mean way up here? No? No, I think we're good. Oh, 
We're good. The left minor? Like, that one we just looked at? Okay. In we go. Actually, I'm gonna use a temp stop for this because I'm pretty sure I have to drive backward otherwise. We didn't actually check how much throughput we had from Orpheus before we started adding drills. Still got blue belt? Oh, we are just about... No, we're good. I thought we were running low. Gonna need a little bit more power. Welcome in Dylan, by the way. All right, that should be working. Fantastic. And just one more to go, and I think we're out of here. Yes, last one. Uh, manual forward. Good. Wait, I haven't actually measured out where this links up. Oh, was that it? Yes. And power poles. I wish we could set like a default orientation for us for a particular blueprint to rotate back to every time we're done with it. Oh, that's a pretty good fit. I think. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Alright, so now we're gonna botless, mostly botless Wallace and Gromit this. And then come to a screeching halt whenever there's a rock. This will do. And that should be it. Except we need to connect this. Why is it like this? Connect this up here. Connect this up here. And we already have our four containers with core frags. Fantastic. I think we missed a spot. And we should probably be double checking that our trains can pass. Manually stopped. Okay. Double check our trains can pass to all the new stops. Seems good. And except for that piece of rail we're missing. Fantastic. All right, back we go. And I guess just go up the elevator. Oh, we can trim. And that's going to be the extent of Orpheus. 25 drills. Where the heck are we? No, why did you... Wait, what? I thought Navsat just revealed one of the areas that we just 
removed, but apparently not. Uh, anyway, how many drills is this? 25 times... Oh, now, now it's added a bit after we trimmed it. 25 times 3 point something. 3.2889. 82.221 core frags per second until we upgrade productivity bonuses. And then it'll be a little bit faster. Uh, let's trim it again. There we go. Alright. 82. Compared to what? This thing can eat 165 per second, but when we put tier 9s in it, we might trim this back a bit. Um, but if we were to eat like 82 per second, that's almost exactly 103 Holmanite per second. Uh, which comes to... Oh, perfect. Yeah, we can just barely comfortably keep up with that with two of those blocks that make the Holmium ingots. Until we change the modules, of course. Anyway, things are going to shift. Uh, let's go back to Hagen Orbit. Things are going to shift as we keep upgrading things bottlenecks and such. Right, now that that's done, uh, I'm sure that's not going to be the difference between perpetually crying out for more Holmanite and starting to saturate on it. I think we should go make that new outpost. But before we do, I do want to change gears a bit. Even if arbitrarily. We we should probably do something about the iridite issue. We're, we're completely saturated on iridite itself. Uh, and we're no longer making ingots fast enough. Although that is because we are spamming some very expensive stuff. Which is not necessarily as expensive as it's going to be for science only. These, uh, these three machines converting ingot to plate are not strictly necessary, but it does mean five times fewer train deliveries for the uh, iridium ingots. That's our ETA for five minutes. Oh yeah, did we get those modules fixed? We did not. We're waiting on Compact Beacon 2, which is waiting on Compact Beacon, which is not scheduled to be made right now. Because there's other stuff we're trying to make, because I don't know why. Extended Energy Catalog. We've got tons of those. Uh, is it just that this is taking 700,000 swings to put in the bare minimum to make one recipe, even though we've already got enough of all this stuff? Ugh. I, I do wish the inserters and assembly machines weren't like this. Yeah, we we've just, we've spent the last few seconds putting in another few hundred processing units. When we've already got enough for... We already had enough for two recipes. For processing units. It just needs five extended catalogs. And if the recipe... If, if the timer changes... So that we swap recipes now. All of that was for nothing. And there it goes. Although we seem to have a duplicate this time. I still don't understand... Why we sometimes get... 
uh, like sticky recipes, duplicates, when we switch over to the next uh, batch sometimes. But it's not a big deal. Anyway, um, I think we'll just ditch the compact beacons in the train for the moment. There we go. And back to here. And then we'll put some speed sixes in here and see how it see how it lines up for the white beacon two. Probably gonna need some deep space belt to keep up with the inputs. Which means the trains are gonna have a hell of a time keeping up. Alright, so that is plus five hundred percent power. That should maybe be that's plus two hundred. So this should be almost exactly it. Like this would be minus 100% power, but the limit is minus 80. Well, cool. how fast is this compared to the machines that are depending on it? Very slightly faster. I'm pretty sure secure canisters are only used here. Uh, except for like life support canisters. Bloat burst ammo, don't care. Life support, mag canister, pheromone dart, med pack. Okay, cool. And do we now have a belt bottleneck? Looks like it. Yeah, glass is not keeping up. It's wanting. That's a beautiful build. Thank you, Sheep Saymer. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And thank you so much uh, so much for 17 months of Prime. Very much appreciated. Uh, we've got one belt. Okay, there is like one dedicated belt for each resource going to this, but it's like it's being fed by two belts between the three machines. At once 41 per second. 125 for the lot. Literally everything, except for heat shielding, which is slow, is 125 per second, and copper is double that. I'm pretty sure if we... Can we upgrade plan? I, I don't know if we can actually upgrade plan. Um... Space belt to deep space belt. No, we can. Wait, shouldn't I have one of those by now? Upgrade planner. Here we go. Okay, so it... We definitely need... Glass to be that fast. Probably everything except for heat shielding. Although, I, I guess the individual machines for the input doesn't need more than a, a white belt. Yeah. Why, why are you not... Oh. When do we get back there ourselves? 90 seconds game time. It might be easier if I just go over there directly. Because the construction train's full. What, what's the rate for steel? It's the same, right? That comes from two belts, two belts, two belts. Okay. Yeah, so literally everything but heat shielding. We, we may as well just deep space belt all of it except for the output. Deep space belts are not that precious. 
once you can actually manufacture them. Where the heck am I looking? Here we go. Uh, I kind of like keeping the... Keeping the regular belt for the heat shielding. Just so it's obvious at a glance that it doesn't need to be that fast. Then again, black, black, white, black. Screw it. That's all of it, right? Pretty sure. Why have the machines stopped output? Because the desired output is saturated. We're now... Oh! It's actually mag canisters where the desired output is saturated. Uh, I'm going to unlimit this. Because we do find that we need a lot of mag canisters sometimes. And we'll put a... I'm pretty sure we don't... Let's see. Canister magnetic goes into basic meta stabilizer, meta containment data, utilization data, plasma canister. Oh, this is just the using it like a barrel. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we don't need short trains picking this stuff up. Right? Yeah. It didn't take half as long to to resaturate the uh, mag canisters than I thought it would. Although that said, we're short on force field data. Force field data is a prerequisite for at least a couple of things, so it's way overdue to be sped up. We don't even have a wide beacon 2 here. And we should probably have another build for this like we did for... Uh, Quantum phenomenomenon data. Maybe I should just... Maybe I should get rid of the old quantum phenomenon data build up here, and then we can just have force field quantum. Probably. In any case, we have arrived. Uh... Get rid of this stone. And... Uh, I should probably grab some more deep space belt. Before we head on down. To where the construction train is. Mark it right about here. But yeah, output is saturated. Good problem to have. If you could even call it a problem. Now we're bottlenecked on superconductive cable. It only takes one superconductive per canister, so that's not a whole lot, actually. Um, I'm actually very surprised if we're not making this fast enough. Although I know the actual building of it is slow. Hence we have this giant build for it. Okay, yeah, we are short on Holmium Cable. There's still some on the belt here, but... Um, it looks like that's our bottleneck, as oh, always. Smash. Oh slash? I thought it said oh smash for a second. Gazalnik, welcome in. Thank you so much for 15 months with Prime. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. There's... Is that not even enough? Well, there should be room in... There should be more belts in here. We just need to make room. Get rid of this stuff that's not supposed to be in there. And 
Fantastic. You know, it's almost annoying actually how the moment we fix the belt bottleneck, it's like, nah, output's saturated, don't worry about it. But it's only saturated because we're not making superconductive cable fast enough, and that's only because we're not making holmium cable fast enough, and that's always because we're not making holmium plate fast enough, because the demand for holmium is never ending. Uh, but we should have fixed... It might take a minute. No? Uh, don't tell me. Force field data. Force field data... You're kidding. It also wants Holmium cable. So shifting that processing power bottleneck wouldn't even... wouldn't even help at the moment. Because this also is material bo uh, materially bottlenecked on Holmium. Never enough freaking Holmium. Okay. Um, before we forget, I want to change this to long trains only. We only really made it short train accessible by default here. Provide priority negative one. That's because somewhere or other we recycle canisters. Can't remember where that is. It's not important right now. Thank, thank you so much. Oh my god. The one spot that we didn't need it. Okay, you, you can go. You can go home. Please do. You can wait for passenger. And we can use our own RoboPort. There we go. And we'll just do it like so. Looks a little wonky, I guess. It's not that big a deal. Actually, I don't like that very much. About... I, I guess that's okay. Uh, and then we need to rebalance these. I don't know how necessary it really is to have this much storage for the mag canisters, but... May as well. It's going to take a bit of time to catch up to, though. All right. I was going to say, but what should we fix next? But I think I know the answer. We really ought to tap that 9.8k radius Holmanite planet. Although, it is a little awkward. I've got a block for each planet over here. And this one's connected to Verb T. That's the only one where we're still using spaceships, and it's right next door, so that makes sense. Oh yeah, where's our um, Arcosphere collector? It is here. Fantastic. Let's get this part done. Just drive that forward a little bit. We want... Should have made a temp stop here. What? Why can't I... I can't put a temp stop just like one pixel in front of it? Yeah, here we go. Wait for inactivity. Then go drop off Arcospheres. Then come back. There we go. Rayclaw welcoming. Have I already got some Arco chests ready and waiting? No. 
We're definitely going to use the... Uh, I should have ridden with the train. We're definitely going to use the Arco chests if we're going to link up to a 9.8k radius Volmium planet. Um, I guess I should probably just continue expanding out here. Oh, we already put prod nines in these. That's right, because cause this used to be the drop-off that the ships preferred to land at if they came back with holmium fragments. Oh, I guess we're getting the most out of the verb T. Four francs. Let me just check consumption of all men night. Actually, no, because some of that might be... Okay, probably none of that is Holmium, Holmonite getting turned into matter. But just to be sure, we should look at production of crushed Holmonite. Last hour... Well, it's not a flat line, so I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we're not... Keeping it fed 24-7. Okay. Didn't I put... Oh, yeah. I haven't done all of these yet, but because there's only three of these... ...in the entire block, it's, it's only six modules... Uh, even though it's, like, a bit later into the production chain, I've been putting prod nines in these things. But... Didn't quite finish the job. Also... I got to pick up those... Those belts that we meant to deconstruct. Weren't there some down here somewhere? No, we got them. Unless that was somewhere else entirely. Okay. Let's go get 10, uh, 20 lambdas. Almost half of our latest haul. A result of 500 Arcosphere launches. Collectors. And... That's... Those are the things I forgot to pick up earlier. Okay. I guess I'll just extend it out this way. There's not that much traffic around here. Or is there? We should probably expand it to the left. This whole drill doesn't even do anything anymore. How much range is on the deconstruction train? Uh, hard to say because it's not active in motion. Which should be the same as the construction train, right? Yes. Got a pretty good idea of that. I think it's still going to have to go at least this close. Like, we're not going to be able to just park here and pick up all of that old mine. Actually... No, I think we probably could. Go here, wait for inactive. And... Oop. And a boop. Uh, 
Let's see. Oh yeah. That can easily reach. Sorry to have underestimated you. Good job. Right then. We require 20 landers. That could have got me killed. Not likely, but very possible. And we're going to turn that into two Arco, Arco Link chests. Oh, you're saturated. And the only thing you need from the trains is AI cores. Okay, that makes sense. One more to go. There we go. Back to the mall. Oops. I probably did just create a huge backlog of work to be done by saying, yeah, actually, unlimited storage of the uh, canisters in these two containers. Let's see, at what rate can we theoretically produce these things? 24.7 per second, or oh, we need per minute, because of the graph. Less than 1.5k per minute. Last 10 hours, we've consumed less than 500 per minute. Okay. That number may well go up. When we're spamming science, but... This block should hopefully be overkill. Thoughts on interrupts? You mean the new train, uh, the, the new thing we can do with trains, or will be able to do? Sounds fantastic. Can't wait to play with it and see what we can do. Alright, that is Arco Link Storages. And now we head over to... I've forgotten the name of it. Uh, Big Radius Holmanite. It was like 9.8k radius, right? Here it is. Amadeo. Amadeo. If we go straight there... It would only take eight minutes. Foenestra. It's slightly quicker to go via Foenestra. 30k distance, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, uh, what's the address? Planet, or rather, planet orbit. Planet orbit... 558. I have eight via Foenestra. Fantastic. So I'm guessing it's in Basilius? Hankerus? It's in Hankerus. Cool, cool, cool. T-Hacks is redefining what endgame means? That really wasn't my goal. I didn't think... Uh, I didn't think three science per second continuous was such a grandiose goal. Welcome in Dayscraft. How far are you in this game? Uh, yeah, we've... Technically, we've won. I, I have this, uh... This crazy idea that... This time... Because we have beaten SE before. Uh, this time I wanted to... To maintain three science per second no matter what research we're doing for the end. I, I, 
I didn't think this would be such an ambitious goal. Like, we probably have some... Yeah, here we go. We, we've got some builds lying around from ages ago that have, like, tier 3 modules in them. I was like, okay, this type of data card, one, you know, two columns of buildings that fit under a single wide beacon. Uh, that's 4.5 per second, so... Shouldn't be that difficult. No, no, it turns out for certain things, three three signs per second is an immense amount of resources to keep flowing and process. You'd think because we're getting rid of spaceships for the longer distance stuff and using these magic chests to just uh, to just have resources teleported through uh, that that would seriously cut down on the UPS costs that the game would get a bit faster but we end up having so many more trains driving around everywhere all the time that it's uh, it's kind of counterbalanced at least somewhat we've got a lot more builds uh, at this point with a lot of like direct belting, direct insertion to cut down on train traffic. The trouble with designing blocks where you have multiple steps in the same place with productivity bonuses uh, is the ratios are going to change when you upgrade your modules. But we just design everything as if we have infinite tier 9 modules at this point. So that the upgrade path is always just put in more modules. Don't worry about changing belts or anything. Nugria, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Personally, uh, personally, LTN is a really is a performance hit if you try to scale it. I don't know that it costs that much. Uh, we can check on it, right? Mod LTN. That's Manager. I didn't think we were even using LTN Manager. Uh, logistic Train Network. It, it started at 2.5, it jumped up to 3.5, 4. Circuit Network is costing us... 2.8? 2.7? Entity update 8. Electric network is 3.6. Script update. There's a lot of... A lot of that is uh, spaceships. That's costing us quite a bit. Still. All the way up to 9. Yeah, I, I think... If at all possible... Oh, trains themselves are over five. Yeah, if at all possible, we really should... Uh, we really should get rid of all the spaceships. If it's feasible to spam that many Arco links. Even though we've got, like, uh, a bunch of planets that are right next door. Marco chests, yay, indeed. Welcome in, Vlad. I don't know how much differently I would have played it if I'd known that I was going to spam Arco chests uh, to just every outpost at the end, because trying to set up trying to set up all of our outposts on nine k radius planets at indefinite distances from our main base. Before we have that technology, uh, could have been a bit more painful to get there. Closer ships equals easier Arco chests? I mean, it just means it takes a little less time to set them up. Speaking of which... Uh, we just hit Foenestra. Good timing. So it's going to be, what, three and a half minutes or less? Game time to get to uh, Amadeus. We 
Cool, cool, cool. Alright. What should we do with a drunken sailor? Oh yeah, I don't know if this is the best use of Prod 9 modules. I, I, I might borrow these again. Um, but I was off stream, I was a bit desperate to keep up with the insane demand of heat shielding uh, that was uh, heavy composite. We weren't having any trouble with iridite at the time. Um, but we shifted that bottleneck. But yeah, the, uh, the the nine machines here for heat shielding weren't keeping up anymore. So we made this monstrosity a little bit tricky to fit all the belts together so that we could get, uh, what do we got? 330 stone tablets per second. Uh, on each side, but then I, I, may, I may have been wasting my time a little bit building this thing because it really, well, A, it, once we built it, it really did not take long until heat shields were completely saturated, uh, and B, it costs so much sulfur if this thing actually runs at full speed that, oops, we should have built it, like, on the coast with a direct build of uh, sulfur feeding it, which needs tons and tons of water. But it did fix kind of a short-term problem. Nice kind of cascading V-shape. Doing that from the start would have been a detriment? Yeah. Uh, it's actually like the smallest moons are actually what you really want at the start of the game, I think. Um, if you, if you focus on the, like, finite sources, like, uh, you know, like this imasite right here, it's going to run out pretty quickly, but if you go for the core frags, the small planets or small moons offer more than you'd think, and what you're really going to struggle with early on is the amount of energy that it takes to get things on and off planet. Um, whether it's delivery cannon capsules are going to be slower because they have to recharge for longer, or the ridiculous thirstiness in K2 of, uh, cargo rockets for liquid rocket fuel. Or rather, how much space and how many machines it takes to produce the liquid rocket fuel. I'm going to need a break shortly, otherwise I'm going to start losing my voice. Um, may as well do the Amadeus outpost after we get back. I couldn't remember which... Oh, is this it? Mithulu? 9.6k radius mineral water. Yeah. I don't think we actually need better than our little sage outpost for mineral water. But this is definitely where we would go if we want a second outpost for it. And there's also some free Arcospheres here, I believe. Uh, yes, yes there are. Not very many, I don't think. We can't, like, factory search them because this stuff doesn't belong to us. Until we, until we tag it. Captain True, welcome in. I'm finding this late game evaluation fascinating. Thanks for sharing, indeed, indeed. Yeah, I felt like... Like, the Arcu Link chests would be a bit over the top and unnecessary, and, well, you know, they're kind of like cheating, but not... I, I, I didn't think we'd have to go that far to reach our goal, but the unbelievable amount of holmium that's required. Vitum Lunge is pretty bad as well, but it's a lot easier than Holmanite for the late game. For the very late game. To spam enough. Um, yeah, trying to get enough holmium throughput is crazy. I think I would definitely set up on a holmium planet um, if I was going to do it all again. 
Of course, that could change from version to version, but I don't think it would change that much. That there's still going to be... You, you could almost bet a non-trivial sum that uh, the amount of holmium cable that you're going to need is still going to be absolutely bonkers. That's 180 holmium cable per second. I, I don't think we're consistently making it, though. Holmium cable... Uh, last hour has been 8.5, 8.6k per minute. That's still a lot of area under the graph. Theoretically, these two machines can do 10.8k per minute. So we're actually like 80% of the way to keeping these two fed. I really hope we don't actually need more than... 180 holmium cable per second. Like, indefinitely. We are spamming modules though, so... That adds a lot. A lot, a lot of demand on top of... Um... On top of what science would be demanding. Is it efficiency modules? It is efficiency modules that... I find it a little bit ironic that um, efficiency modules are the ones that demand holmium, and yet we're still able to make the most of those. The scale at which it wants to eat holmium is not that much, though, compared to, I don't know, how much... Wait, 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 wait. Are we actually just not materially bottlenecked? Nope, 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 there's some red circuits missing. No, that's that's literally an inserter bottleneck. Could squeeze this in here, I guess. To think we're actually not materially bottlenecked, but the the build itself is the bottleneck for prod sevens at the moment feels pretty weird. Let's see. Uh, productivity module seven looks pretty consistent for the last hour. How's the rate of tier 9 modules going? Uh, last hour... 0. 0.4, 0. 0.4, and 0. 0.3. That's actually pretty good. Per minute. 0. 0.3 prod 9 modules per minute for the last 10 hours on average. Still painfully slow compared to how much we want to spam them. I mean, what, that's three per minute? Whereas a build like... Like this wants... 16, 32... Uh... 42... Plus 40. 82 modules. Um... So about... Four to five hours game time to fill a block like this with prod nines. Ouch. We do need fewer machines as we go into the higher tier modules. Like, there's every likelihood that these two machines will be enough for our goal. But still. Wasn't there an inserter issue last week that stopped module production? So materials got backed up? Maybe? I don't think there's an issue that actually stops them at this point. Okay, now we're... Now we're missing sulfur. We can't actually be that limited on sulfur, right? We're not. Do we have enough trains? Yeah, we do. 
there was a train shortage as I was pushing bottlenecks around off stream. Uh, we added a whole new depot for them. And I don't know, 10 to 20 trains. I wasn't actually counting. But in any case, the train shortage warnings have disappeared, but I don't understand how we completely ran out of sulfur here before it was delivered. Oh, is this... this place is below normal priority, right? No? It should be, honestly. Even if we did put this below normal priority, I'm pretty sure it would still affect... If, if we were trying to spam science, it would probably slow it down a little bit. Just because of the nature of bursty train deliveries of resources. Especially if we don't have a big buffer for some of them. We're supposed to deliver sulfur here when we're down to half a train load. Priority is normal. Oh, I set it to max two trains. Because there's so many different resources that we're asking for here. And we don't want a massive train traffic jam just because we're trying to make modules. That's probably it. Cybersyn can be much better than LTN at this scale. As it doesn't need trains to go back to depot between jobs. That sounds very cool. Yeah, Cybersyn is uh, one of the mods I want to give a try. Um, next time. Welcome in, Wartree. Anyway, we're getting a little bit distracted here. I should have taken a break like 10 minutes ago. Um, before I start losing my voice. Let's do some words on stream. And... Set up... Uh, should probably save it right about now. And Veldak is present. My biggest annoyance with CyberSim is that you need to configure networks to not conflict between surfaces. I'd hate to use it for SE. Um, I can see where that would be a bit of a pain, since I'm used to occasionally messing with... Uh, what's it called again? It's like virtual networks with um, LTN. Encoded network IDs. Yeah. Uh, since I'm used to messing with these a little bit, I, I imagine it wouldn't be too hard to figure out. Since I'm used to that. Alright, let's do some words. I'm going to take a short break. We'll start the words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Who dropped this coal here? That's so weird. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, uh, let's pause the words. Nicely done. RV Park smashing it. Veldak, of course. Wear tree. Very nice. Uh, I have no idea why there's nine pieces of coal on the ground in a fairly irregular pattern over here where we make coke. Very strange. Also, apparently we're not keeping up with uh, wood right now. Wasn't aware of that a second ago. Wood is being produced right next door. And yeah, sure enough, we're not, we're not keeping up with it. It looks like fertilizer is still saturated for the wood. Um... The demand for it to be exported for I forget what reason is too damn high. We might have to duplicate this block. And I think... How much water does it want? 350 per second is not that much. Still better if it's pumped directly. We could fill in some of this up here, I guess. Don't really want to do that. We could move the uh, concrete. Concrete demands a lot of water. I just remembered. I, I, I guess we could just duplicate this over here. It's probably not that important at the moment. Okay, I lied. We need coke for steel. And probably almost nothing else. Coke goes into steel, goes into biter research data. Uh, and that's basically it. Steel is not looking that hot. All right, fine. We'll chase another squirrel. Do we have a water drop off for this build? We do not. I mean, I could easily add one. I think I'd rather just awkwardly pipe the uh, the water over though. No need to have the train move this time. Greenhouses and biolabs, I don't think we normally carry those in the construction train. Wow, it's very full. Greenhouses and biolabs. We do have greenhouses here. Biolab, I think it was... Honestly, I don't know, it was probably like one biolab, but let's just... Request a stack. And why are there two electric boilers in here? Oh. Did the stack get split? The light says the train has everything it's supposed to. This is asking for ten electric boilers. I see two over here. I'm very confused. Oh, there's eight in here. Yeah, this is why we periodically just empty out the train. I won't do that right now, though. 
Let's go build that and see what gets done. And... Maybe... Maybe just pump. It's only like 350 water per second, but... There's no, there's no need to make it more difficult than necessary. To pump it all this way. Steel pump is right about here. That is very difficult to see. And then... Uh, it's going to be kind of clunky. I guess like this. Upshore pump. One should be more than enough. Is that going to be powered? Yes, it is. And we probably don't need steel. Wait, where is the train? Wait, what? How did... Did you just... Wait, what? Who built this? I, I'm confused. Anyway, a steel pump every other pair of underground pipes should still be way faster than we need. That doesn't reach anymore, does it? Is that actually max distance? Oh my god. Okay, fine. Put the, put the steel pump back. This one... Can get by without it. That's probably fine. That should still be able to pump way faster than... 350 per second or whatever it is. We also need an atmospheric condenser and more greenhouses. And for some reason I put prod nines over here. Probably because I really wanted this build to be sufficient. Uh, without duplicating it. But it's not, and there's definitely higher priorities for our precious tier 9 prod modules. Uh, in that case... Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, we emptied the train, I forgot. Hmm, what about this? Go resupply, then come over here. Nope. Then come over here. And then over this way. And that should hopefully get everything built. Don't forget the atmospheric condenser. Is it too late already? Alright, let's just bring it back. Atmospheric condenser. We can fit it on this side. Just the one should be fine. Okay. Now, we need to anchor. Uh, but first I want to plan exactly where our build goes. Ideally, well, why don't we just steal from Plato Orbit? Uh, don't we have a blueprint for this? Coenestra Bounce version 2. 
No. Dispatch V3. Here we go. And I think these are snapped into place, yeah. That'll be a good start. Uh, or we just snap the space elevator into place. GPS equals... Zero, zero, Amadeo Orbit. Here it is. And I think we have a blueprint specifically just to find the zero, zero. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Cannot place space elevator opposite surface. View the blocked area. We, we need some cliff explodes. I can't pick a dolly's the cliffs out of the way. We'll have to go down there first. Rude. Alright, let's just land over here, I guess. So what's the point here since you beat the pack ages ago, going until the UPS counter says zero? Exactly. Akira, welcome in. Null Cascade. Uh, is fertilizer even worth using with all them beacons? Oh, you mean for the wood? Uh, it takes a lot more machines to go as fast without fertilizer. Ideally, the UPS should be going up. It will, once we... Once we do certain things. Uh, namely, get rid of a lot of our spaceships. Where am I... Where am I looking? E2SE... Oh, it's in the LC... L LCCL blocks for some reason. Mostly because everything is in there. Snap to zero, zero. It was here, right? Yeah. Okay. So then we just steal from Plato. Uh, including the floor, please. Where are we? And right about here. Wait, what? There we go. Mm, probably better if we take the spaceship up. Back to orbit. I wonder if there's a vaguely spaceship shaped lack of lack of detail on the ground here. It's a bit subtle, but it's definitely there. Okay. Anchor. Right about here should be fine. And this is actually Amadeo. Amadeo. Oops. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Looks like there's some floor missing behind it as well. That was not a stylistic choice. I wonder what number we were up to. 23, I think? Yeah, Zakol Orbit was definitely the last outpost we made. Because we didn't expect to need to make an outpost for Cryonite. 
So this one will be number 24. Not that it matters for... We're not using the old system, but... I kind of like it. Sticking with that style. Moin Moin. BG Nyman, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Do you have nukes and artillery on your ship? Nukes destroy cliffs. No need to go to the surface first. I did not know nukes destroy cliffs. Do they really? Oh, okay. Wait. If we're gonna nuke here, someone has to redeem it. Let's let's nuke here. And so they do. Although it does leave a permanent ugly scorch mark. I say we take off. I say we take off. I say we take off. Oh my god. It's the only way to be sure. RV Park. Vilma. Johnsku. Would all like a nuke? Let's get started. I say we take off and nuke the entire site for Morbid. Uh, Zedius the only way to be sure. and it's the Evil Plow would also like a nuke. That's five, I think. Let me mark these off so I don't lose track. RV Puck. I say we take off and nuke the entire yep, site for Morbid. Yep, yep, I should have known. It's the only way to be sure. I say it we is take the only way to be sure. This one's for Vilma. It's the only way to be sure. It is the only way to be sure. That's pretty nuked. How about the last remaining wall? This one's for Chonsku. And then we have Evil Pla. Mercedes is next. Jean-Lac and Falsa. Pardon me rehydrating. I think I overdid it a little bit with my voice. I need to be careful. And last but not least... Can we get all of these in one go? We're gonna find out. I say we take off and nuke the and that's entire for site for Morbid. It's the only way to be sure. And also Captain True. Okay. Captain True, this one will eventually be for you. Oh, it was actually just the... No, no, I think it was already caught up. Fantastic. Alright, I do hope I counted those correctly. That is uh, quite the path of destruction. And there is no more... There's no more walls left to nuke, pretty much. We really are running out of substantial targets back on Nalvis. Okay. Uh, this looks I pretty say built. We take off and nuke the entire site for more Xenox would like a nuke. One more for good measure. It's the only way to be sure. Okay. One more to be sure. Fantastic.
Okay. You all have had your fun now. We all nuked out for the moment. Everyone's satisfied. <laughs> okay, uh, we want to copy from Plato Orbit. We already made a little blueprint for that, didn't we? It's in the Navsat. And... That sh should... Wait, what? Did it just, like, instantly override the number 24 over here? Amadeo was sufficiently in the way for that not to get changed. Looks like everything else is done now. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm sure my name is there somewhere. Upgrade name and base to gold. Uh, let's check the usual suspects. Jamort. There it is. Fantastic. Okay. So now we need to start... Oh. Well, first we have to wait for the space elevator cables before we can start using this thing. I guess I could start designing and scanning. Yeah, we can only see two drill spots. That might need to change. And I think we'll just steal from ye old Stromhurst for the parking spots for the trains. Oops. Just in a line should be firm. That's... I don't want to landfill everything here. Hmm. Maybe we should do a slightly different train depot here. It depends on where else the rail needs to go. Because... I'm going to want to maintain a certain standard. Like, we'll definitely fill this in. Or will we? That would be in the way. Maybe we'll just go around it. Uh, we could we could fit a train stop here pretty cozily. Blue belt would go like this. I I guess that's fine. And then the train would just go straight back up there. Probably will just fill in some of this. Because it's going to be super convenient for the parking spots to stop there and then the train goes down this way. Nuke is the current situation. Indeed, indeed. Uh, we... What the... Why is the Arco Link chest red and it doesn't have a number? That seems ominous. That's... That's weird. Because all of the other Arco chests... Oh, is it just because I had alt mode off? I hope so. 
It was. Okay, cool. Yeah, I thought it was, like, not going to work or something. This was, like, a warning. Alright, cool. We're going to want... Not... Not 360 construction bots left behind here. Um, definitely... Well, 50 Logi Butts is overkill too, but I don't care. How much longer till this works? A little bit. Alright, why don't we check on our bottlenecks back at home while we're waiting on this? Still looking for Matter Science Pack 2. Broad Matter Catalog. It's going to trace back to the usual spot, isn't it? Matter containment. It's force field data these days. But that's bottlenecked on Holmium Cable, so there isn't really anything for us to do at the moment. Uh, it may look healthy at the moment, but it will stop. And we are currently working on expanding Holmium, so... So, uh, we're already working on the correct thing. Which means back to here. Our first drill is going to be... Oh yeah, we calculated this earlier. 20 something, like 27 per second. Something like that. Oh, we've got those... We've got those nasty fake trees that don't get picked up by deconstruction plans on this planet. I really should just remove the mod that makes them, but I'm too scared of breaking anything at this point. Landfill would go like this. And train stop. Should we just put it in line? Maybe. Even if we keep going north afterwards. That would line up pretty well. Whereas if we do a corner, we'd have to drive past it. Also, it's very close to the... Uh, very, very close to the space elevator. Whoops. So something like this. Okay. What about this one? Maybe about here? Which would mean... We should be able to pretty easily fit a corner. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's going to be pretty good. Okay. Our poles. We always want our first pole here. And then... Follow this pattern, perhaps. Uh, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. How, how well would a diagonal fit here? Pretty well. Could we dial it back a bit? Maybe like this? But we can just build it there for the moment. Then... Like this. Just want to double check it. That might even reach. 
I don't exactly want to put landfill there when it's a maybe, though. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. If we put it here, we can connect the wire. Is this thing on? It is not. Okay. We've got power up here and everything, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're good. Fantastic. All the accumulators are charged as well. I had toyed with the idea of maybe squeezing in more than one Arco Link storage at one of these blocks. But... If we're getting this kind of throughput, we're going to need, like, more than two blocks adjacent to direct belt the whole meme away anyway. Holman Knight. So we may as well just make another block for it. How many tags have we found already? Uh, only seven. Okay. What should we do to pass just a couple of minutes or so productively? Or at least become aware of something. Hmm. Oh yeah, we were building this, uh... Oh, is that actually done? It actually is done. There's nothing missing. Another block for biomatter. Oh, the biomatter exported to the rail block should be super unnecessary. But we may as well. But it's really just there to support the fertilizer. Uh, but yeah, biomatter. Wait, what? There we go. Uh, fertilizer and wood. And wood. Alright, that might take a little while to fill up a train load. Not that long, actually. Doesn't look like anything's happening, but it is. That that's plants growing for you. What are we doing? Pushing bottlenecks and dreaming of one day reaching what seemed like a small arbitrary goal. Lord Seri, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, we're currently making a new outpost for Holmium core frags. Uh, we're going straight to Arco Link storage for this one. It is a 9.8k radius planet. Almost 9.9. .9. So that should be a pretty big boost to our endlessly thirsty uh, Holmium, Holmium builds. What's going on here? Oh, we're making solenoids. I completely forgot that we can actually direct belt to make the solenoids here. I was like, why is this not saturated? You'd have never chosen that planet before? I know. Yeah, it's it's deep into the solar system and it's beyond Foenestra range, so not good for spaceships. Uh, not good for spaceships at all. But now, now all that matters is the radius, pretty much. Nice, big, juicy radius. 1800 out of 1900 tables before we can go downstairs. 
Uh, so it was coke that we were worried about, right? The reason that we were making more wood. Oh, and we've got another one of these dodgy little storages. I think we re really should just uncap most of these things. Uh, and for that... Wait, how fast is this? 60... Uh, 80 coke per second on each side. It spits out six at a time. Whoa, look at these ancient inserters. I didn't even realize. We upgraded the modules earlier, but... Uh... Disembarrassing. Also, that's a regular wide area beacon. Why don't we upgrade that as well? And then we'll probably end up finding that actually the belts are a bottleneck. This is got to be super unnecessary but whatever but well, we can't upgrade these anyway uh but yeah i wanted to retool this to actually use a splitter so that we can take full advantage of the storage space here especially since we're playing catch up morning, Ian Noah. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Isn't it convenient when distance isn't a factor anymore? In a game about logistics? Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a game about automation, but logistics are a pretty big deal, obviously. Um... What's the neatest way to do this? Screw it. Let's just put it here. We don't have enough inserters. No. Also, fill this out. And then find out we can fit more speed modules. But I bet this is going to end up being too fast. Also, why are these so far apart? Yeah, I don't know what's with the spacing of this build. Like, we left room for multiple wide area beacons? I guess. Anyway, um... First of all, hurry up and make this work again. And we want to add some speed modules in here. I do wish this interface let you do things like this with fewer clicks. Power consumption is still negative 80. What's the rate for... Okay, we're, belt, we're output belt bottlenecked now. Which... You know what? Let's get rid of the inserters. And I kind of want to... Oh, hello. Thought you could get away, did you? Uh, yeah, it's it only happens with loaders, but when you do upgrade planners, the belts... Uh, sometimes the... Well, quite often the loaders end up on the belts. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to move all these in a little bit. And I really have no idea why there's undergrounds here. Might use inserters for input still. The output's really not that slow. Uh, not that fast. But 
inserters trying to find their turn to put something onto a very saturated belt can be a bit silly. We didn't actually slow things down that much because the wood just arrived. Alright. Can we fit another speed module? This is already belt bottlenecked for the output. We could probably get rid of a few machines. Uh, negative 80 still. Plus 180. Okay, so that was actually perfect. If we're going to stick to tier 6. How many machines does it take to get 90 per second? Oh, that's exactly 21, almost. Um... Why don't we just go for 10 on each side? So we're not quite belt bottlenecked on the output. Alright, and don't forget to run those belts around. Oh. Hmm. Actually, let's do the 21 on each side. Because I think... Because this will use both sides of the belt, right? Hopefully it doesn't prefer the side that's already going to be a little bit more saturated. And then... That is theoretically exactly belt bottlenecked on the output. But I think on one side... No? Oh, because this output's six at a time. That's perfect. That means the output's going to be balanced. It'll do three sets of two. Which means, yeah, we're not going to get some weird belt bottleneck because it's imbalanced. That's perfect. Just, just, just barely more than what the belt can do. Much better. Uh, that's looking a bit imbalanced, though. Hmm... about this? Summon a train. Once the train is coming, tell it, no, actually you want lots and lots of coke. And then that should get these to be balanced once the train leaves. Actually, wait, is that one, two, three, four, five? God damn it, that's not even enough. The idea was to get them back up to here so they'd be balanced. How about this? Yeah, that should do it. And then once they're balanced, we could just unlimit them. Alright, in any case, you can go back to the mall. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some split stacks and stuff. So let's empty the construction train. Wow, 
Why is that coke flowing so slowly? Oh, are we getting enough wood? 37 per second, yeah. Half a belt is 45. So, as much as it doesn't look like it, as long as the trains are bringing wood, uh, that's not actually going to fail to feed the machines at the end. Alright, we full, we full. Fantastic. An ancient one, what are your secrets? Wait, what? Faster inserters are slightly better for UPS than slower ones because they go inactive more. Yes. Okay. Now, there's always going to be, like, a l little bit more because of the belt storage, but we're going to pretend we didn't see that. And... Unlimited. That'll be pretty balanced. Cool, cool, cool. And we should, I, I hope, be saturated with wood pretty soon. Also, did we prioritize this? Uh, yes, yes we did. Very, very much so. Because I don't... We've got wood... Um, Wood-based circuits with above... No, with below normal priority. To be supplied. Uh, so that we have a sink for the wood that comes from Vidamelange. but I definitely want the wood that we actually need to come here first. Okay. This thing should be good to go by now. Fantastic. I'm going to need a lot of landfill. Do we have a stone mine or something? I could use iron as landfill, right? Uh, yes. Yes, I could. There's 342k. Because I, I have a feeling we're going to need a bit more landfill than we brought. Just a hunch. What's the machine icon next to the warnings? This thing? Oh, uh, that's a... Uh, that's the lab. The Singularity Lab. And this is just a warning that this inserter hasn't swung for... I don't know how many ticks. Uh, it hasn't swung for at least a minute. In other words, science has stopped. And we've been waiting for matter science to catch up again for a very long time. Since we found out it was broken. I think it traces back to force field data, which is still holmium, which is what we're working on over here. Um, okay, so we're going to need... Assembler. We're going to need drills. I guess prods are fine. We did bring assembly machines, right? Uh, we have space assembly machines. That's awkward. I, I, do, I don't think I have one in my inventory. <sighs> Which means making the landfill is a little bit more of a chore than expected. Um, we can turn landfill into... Uh, we can turn stone or whatever into landfill in our pockets very quickly though. Oh, it actually needs a recycling facility, which I don't have either. Time for a landfill tree? <laughs> no. How much landfill did we bring? 2k. That's going to run out relatively quickly. Yeah, it's literally a stack of iron or stone to turn it into landfill. But... 
it's still going to be a lot more convenient to do it like this. Uh, electric mining drill. Spare no density. Uh, I guess we'll use passive provider chests. May as well give it some rods. Beacon. We've got like infinite power. So just just shove some freaking speed nines in there. Why do we not have power yet? There we go. Holy crap, that's fast. 427 per second. Cool, cool, cool. But I, at the moment, I can only... Oh, we need... No, we need a... Res we actually do need a recycling facility. <laughs> to turn iron into landfill. We can't handcraft it. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. Nobody panic. It's fine. We'll we'll just bring some. No, I said it's fine. Chill. And we'll bring some assembly machines while we're at it. Why do we have no advanced assembly machines up here? We... we do. I think they're all in buffer chests. Yeah. Uh, and recycle facility, please. Ship the landfill... Not the recycler? Uh, you'd be surprised how quickly a few chests worth of landfill runs out. That's why we're setting this up over here. Alright, what's our location called again? Amadeus? Um, um, Amadeo. Planet Orbit 558. Planet Orbit... Double five eight. Via Foe and Astro. We've got some bots. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter if we've got the bots. Go. Okay. Xenox, welcome in. Uh. So. Yeah, I guess we're not handcrafting any, um... Any iron-based landfill over here. Why don't we just make a little bot network? We need an even faster ship for emergency deliveries? Nah. Alright, so that's going to be Recycler. Right about here. Or even like this. The poor butts are going to have a hell of a time keeping up. Okay. Mini construction ship. ETA. It's going to be like seven minutes game time. It takes like three and a half minutes to get to Foenestra. And a little bit longer after that because we're deep into the solar system. Alright, 
Now, we're not going to run out of landfill just yet. We do have 2,000 sitting in a chest somewhere. Here we go. So let's make a start on that. How much power... How much power are those miners using? Uh, with Prod 6 miners... Uh, it, Prod 6 modules uh, in the miners, and just because I was lazy, I put like 20 tier 9 speed modules in here. 24 megawatt each. But only when they're actually running. Uh, and we've got... Let's see. 4.5 gigawatt we can play with at this outpost. Should be fine. Uh, it's too far back in the copy-paste history. Let's grab... Was it Oswulf? I think it was Stromhurst. It was the original place where I did this layout. Can't even see for the fake trees. Alright. And then we're going to want... Corner. Like so. And... Like so. Uh, and that should line up exactly with this. Yes. We have, like, run... Uh, we, we, we have tried running along placing landfill before, or maybe it was the bots placing it, and we somehow died, so I want to be a little bit careful with that. Alright, so we've got three parking spots for trains that are waiting for one of our drills to have a whole train load. I think even if we add, like, maybe six trains, that'll still be enough, because there'll be... There'll be, like, a train sticking through the space elevator waiting here, one waiting here, and one dropping off here. And I guess... A... <laughs> I'd have to add another signal, but we could also have a train waiting here. But probably not super necessary. Now we're going to want... Landfill going down this way. I thought my RoboPort was switched off. That was supposed to just be a draft. I guess that's what we're doing now. Looks like it lines up really well anyway. And... It's going to be front left. Lining up with this. That's pretty good. I can live with that. And then we'll do... Uh, what will we do? Corner, like so. And the bare minimum of signals. Like this. No, I think it should be more than enough to just put some signals here and here and here. I think that's the closest spot we could put them. 
I don't want to put more landfill here than I have to. Oop, that poor fishy just disappeared for some reason. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. Let's rescue the fishies. And about here. Looks right. Okay. Uh, we only want trains going left from here, actually. So that piece of land was needless. And here as well. That's facing the wrong way. Good, good job. Okay. And we'll probably have trains going to the right as well. Yeah. Oh, we already put a. Tr we already planned a train track going this way though. Good job, indeed. Needless landfill. I know. It's traumatizing. Dun 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 dun. Apparently, I didn't bring bulk rail loaders. Apparently, I'm carrying an awful lot of deep space belts still. Um, power poles. Come out to here. Turn off robots. And then plan this. Is it going to be straight up and down, or should we do a diagonal? Maybe a diagonal. And then that would go... it's hard to see. That's still way too far to one side. Hmm... I want it to line up kind of like this. So here. Sure. Actually, wait, 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 wait. So if that's where it's going to start... Uh, yeah, I can live with this. This is fine. Robots, go. And like so. I noticed this is not connected to upstairs yet. There we go. Don't actually need that red wire crossing over here anymore. But it almost feels like sacrilege not to reproduce it. So it's Christmas colors. That That's what it is. Anyway, we can now not clearly see that that's attached. Interesting. There we go. Where is the freaking... There it is. Okay, so that's connected to central. Um, Where's our mini construction ship? ETA two minutes. Just crossed the asteroid belt. The first one. Cool, cool, cool. Amabris. Let's go... Well, why don't I just put this landfill here for the moment? Let's free up some inventory slots. I don't need this many construction bots in my backpack. Reasonably sure of that.
And we were coming back upstairs for all Korea looters. At least for now. Also some blue belt. Also I should probably drop the stuff that I shouldn't be carrying right now. Purple belt, deep belt, space belt, red belt, too many storage tanks. Let's not get too carried away, we'll be here all day. Uh, and give me some more blue belt. Maybe not that much. Okay. Red inserter? Or Mao? Where's our ship? It's getting there. Down we go. It feels weird not having to worry about the trains yet. Getting squished. Um, okay, we're definitely having the rail go up here for this one. I think we will still have the rail just cross the water. Because this is, this area is a mess anyway. But maybe for this train stop, or these two, we could branch off this way? Which means we're going to need, like so. Probably should be carrying some landfill. This part right here is bi-directional. Okay. So then we continue over this way. I might just do a piece of rail. Yeah, the more I look at it, the less I like doing all this landfill to get to this one. Does Tile Ghosts include... It does. Nice. There we go. We will probably have Rail go straight north to get to there, but uh, I think for this one I'd rather have Rail goes up the middle of these three to reach all of them. Alright, so somewhere like... Right. It's actually fairly cozy. And this one... Probably about the same. Doesn't fit very well. What a nice evening we had a new world record for MMP speedrun. Nice. Welcome in Artur's Lackic. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and then, yeah, there's going to be plenty of room for what I've got in mind here. Rail up more or less like this. And then, more or less like this, and more or less like this. 
Okay. Let's begin. That looks kind of weird. Grass bridge. We're going to want our power poles. Like so. Where does this connect up? Oh, there it is. Fantastic. Why? Why? There we go. Is that gonna... Oh, you... That's just rude. I guess I could move the rail over like two tiles. Especially with how well that looks like it's gonna fit. Eh. Ah, it's fine. We'll just pretend we didn't see that. Oh, wait, what? That's... Wait, what? I think the map hadn't refreshed yet. Yeah, I think that's probably what happened. Don't tell me this is going to be in the way. No, we're good. Except this still doesn't happen to line up very well. I guess we'll need a little diagonal here. Something like that. One off, indeed. All right. We build, we explored, we get rid of the artificial trees, I could just pick a dollies them to the side. We need some landfill. Did. Need to go back for poles. Carefully don't run into the landfill while the bots are placing it. And front right. Fantastic. And... I think we'll just kind of shorten this a bit. Hmm. One, two, there we go. Should line up perfectly. So these two are equidistant, at least. All right. 
back to the ship. I might take a little break before my brain melts. Why don't I just fly over the water? The mini construction ship should be here by now. Mini construction ship. There we go. Give me the goods. That was all we needed, right? What are you... What's doing? Maybe it was space elevator cables or something. What's the upkeep of this? Six per minute for doing nothing. But we brought a thousand. So we've got at least seven minutes left. Let's get ourselves some more power poles. I can remember where we put them. Lighted pylon, that's a lot of lighted pylons. Maybe not that many. Uh, anything else? That we forgot down here? Not really. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Yeah, no, I think we're good. Down we go. Iron to landfill. Plastic. Uh, I might just limit each of these to one stack. Definitely don't need this kind of speed. This right here should still be... 9 per second. Okay, that may be a little bit slow. But I don't want to end up with tons of iron that we'd have to take home. So we'll just let that drain out. Anyway... Let's go finish that first train stop. Fantastic. And that's our first core frags on the scoreboard for this planet. 300 already. Fantastic. Nineteen point one nine per second. Wasn't the estimate like ten point something for the first drill? Or did we already place we already placed some other drills, okay. Yeah, because I thought it was like ten point something times one point one six. I mean no, two point six. The productivity bonus. Alright, I'm going to take a short break, um, get some more caffeine in the system, I think, and then we'll push through to the end of the stream. I guess we could do some more words. This will be a short one, though. We'll just start that now-ish.
Okay, let's continue, shall we? Uh, kind of clapped today, partly because of the heat, and I want to do more Factorio tomorrow to somewhat make up for the missed streams with the power outage. So we're going to finish up a bit earlier today, but at the very least, uh, I, I can do, you know, a lot more of this frail stuff off stream. It's very, uh, very rote, very repetitive. But what I want to get done at least before we finish today is to get some core fragments flowing back to Hagen from Amadeo. Words on stream still on stream? There we go. Thank you. So we'll make one train. Give it the proper schedule. Uh, it's not Plato, it's Armadeo? Armadeo? D-O. Up the elevator, goes here. Down the elevator, goes here. And... go. Oh, wait, no, stop, 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 stop. Uh... I forgot to give it equipment first. Um, so that'll be seven, uh, seven advanced additional electric engines, some solar panels and batteries on each side. Okay, not that many. Also, you can probably go back to Hagen already. Uh, let's see. Moon orbit 1180 via Foenestra. Whoa, no, don't take me with you. Okay, cool. cool. Alright. Three batteries, five solar panels, and seven advanced additional electric engines. More than enough for some bursts of speed when the train actually moves. Oh, don't die. We want to leave uh, 50 or less logi bots here. I mean, considering all they have to do is, like, resupply the trains and space elevator cables and stuff, I don't think we're too worried. This is already configured for Holmanite. Fantastic. And where are you going? Oh, you're already bringing up a train load. I forgot how fast... I forgot how fast the individual core drills are for the moment. That's fine. Yeah, it's like a stack per second. So a train less than every two minutes. Anyway, um... We already have a destroyed space train power pack. Sheesh. We need to place a Arcolink uh, storage. On this surface. And then take it back to Hagen. Uh, let's just take off before the train comes back or anything. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, it was moon 1179. 1179. Via Foenestra. And we don't need to take this with us. Actually, we kind of do because... Because we're not going to Hagen orbit first. Okay. 
And I think... Mm, I don't know if it's overkill to make another block to make Holmium ingots. Or two, considering that we're already underutilizing the blocks that we have, but when we upgrade the modules and productivity, mining productivity and stuff, it might actually be pretty ordinary. But I don't want to, like, increase the number of prod modules we're trying to put in things. Hmm... I could just add another block, and not the extra blocks for processing ingots. I guess we could even do some, like, spaghetti belts to direct belt to them. Or we could just add one of those blocks here for now. And because verb is kind of slow... We could direct belt to those two. I think that's fine for the moment. Alright, so that's gonna go here. We can always shuffle things around a bit later on. Especially with how much easier it is to move this stuff around compared to the whole spaceship setup. All right, gonna want our floor first. We should probably check on wood and coal since we updated that pretty recently. Build what we can in one trip without even checking. And wood is still not keeping up. Hmm. Except... No? I was thinking maybe this half block here is, filling, is fulfilling its role of being a wood sink. Maybe a little too well. Maybe we should just, like... Hmm. I'd kind of like to set it up so that we don't send wood over here. Unless we've got, like, a few train loads of wood over here, but we can send it from here to here. As opposed to, yeah, it's lowest priority, but it's ravenous, so we just keep sending the wood there. Hmm. In any case, uh, Coke is still playing catch-up. This looks like a couple of train loads, but because of how fast it is, and how long it takes the train to get here, this doesn't actually mean that we're accumulating folk. I guess it's not that surprising, it was neglected for a while. Alright, what's our ETA? We are not even out of the solar system yet. So about seven game minutes or so. Which means we've got plenty of time to build this before we get there. What's the name of our new outpost? Armad I keep wanting to say Amadeus. It's Amadeo or Amadeo. Uh... Looking for the X plates. There we go. That's gonna go here. Except we're gonna wanna expand that a little bit. That should be it. 
We don't normally carry this, uh, light plate. I guess we'll remove the stone for now. It's just because we can't fit that many filters. I should really make a more sophisticated floor train loading system. We've been putting up with this one forever. Where's the construction train? Oh. Helps if you load it. It does help if the construction train leaves the station with some items. Other than construction parts. And for the hundredth time, I wish I could add a temp stop without making the train instantly leave the station. Should be just about done. Should be just about done. Okay. That's nowhere near enough pulverizers to build the whole thing in one trip, but it should get all the rail and stuff done. Where's our floor train? Oh, well, there's like an arbitrary timer before it loads everything here. First thing it does is unload the train. It's not designed to be super fast, it's designed to be super reliable. We don't need that many black plates right now. Oh, we already loaded the light. Alright, that should be way more than enough. We're just trying to finish this aesthetic over here. Actually paste that in. So we have to pick a dollies it across. Should have more than enough rail. Gonna need more purple belt, I imagine. Oh, and how many pulverizers have we placed? Nowhere near enough. I think we only brought like 10. Because they only stack to 5. Which is pretty annoying. And there's really no reason for it. It's not like you ever have to feed pulverizers to another machine for science. So the small stack size doesn't accomplish anything except being annoying for building like this. There's our floor train. Uh, what? No, wait, what happened? Oh, I, I get it. Aziz light. Aziz light? We do have bots here. What are they waiting for? Inactivity and 30 seconds. Go. Ragamuffin, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Fast and reliable are mutually exclusive. 
Though putting it in the effort to get both does tend to take a fair bit of circuit stuff, yeah. And depending on how fast we're talking, it tends to be a trade-off. Why are the... Refined hazard concrete, refined hazard concrete. Why are the bots taking so long to jump out here? Okay, there we go. Okay, cool, that's done. Uh, and we probably want to come back here because we didn't... We didn't place all the stone yet. That'll happen automatically. Still haven't even reached Foenestra. We are most of the way to the halfway point. To get back to Hagen. How's our... Able span? Coming along slowly. Wow, okay. The mag canister spam, which isn't really necessary, is happening a bit faster than I thought it would. So we won't be as short on Holmium Cable for as long as I imagined. So that's good. Didn't you leave a lot of landfill tiles? unplaced on that other planet it's likely saturating the bot queue you mean the one we were just on or somewhere else uh i mean there's some rail yeah it, it's not that much but yes I wish we could do a search for ghosts on every surface. Because I feel like there might be something big on some other surface that we're overlooking. Or maybe something was just marked for decon and never got never got in range or something. We've already got our space elevator cables and media defense ammo waiting to be teleported through. Oh, and this is um, uh, A-M-A-D-E-O. Actually, I kind of like... Uh, I can't wait till we can move these things around instead of deleting and re-adding. I kind of like them down here like the other blocks. Okay. ETA to Hagen. Three and a half minutes game time. About seven minutes real time. We have a whole two productivity modules back here. Uh, but we have a whole stack sitting in the space mall. 31 speed modules and 25, 6, 7, 8 efficiencies. Nice. Not bad. That's where our resources are going. Still, I am a little shocked at how long it's taking. Oh, finally. To get some broad matter catalogs and therefore... Uh, matter science too. We got there eventually. That's all that's missing here, right? One catalog makes four matter science packs. But they they have the same stack ratio. Stack size 50, stack size 200. So one long train of broad matter catalogs 
Wait. Long train? They only get dropped off here, right? Uh... Does that mean... No? They must get used somewhere else, otherwise these would have been just full on this side all the time. Broad matter catalog. Goes into matter science pack 2. Basic matter stabilizer. Which we do use uh, kind of continuously. Down here. Okay. I mean, we consume them very, very slowly, but we do have a double train drop-off for the inputs, I guess. Still. Having to wait for a hundred stacks before a short train just picks up half of them feels a little silly. Once that happens, though, we'll probably finish Worker Robot Speed 16. Matter Science Pack 2. Can we do prod research without it? No. May as well finish the robot research. What else is to be done? Very little. Oh, there he goes. Just fill out that stone. ready before we even get back. So what we're going to do is land uh, here, I guess, and pick a dolly's the Arcosphere, the Arcolink storage off the ship into place. Uh, you could do it without pick a dolly's, but you'd need to land the spaceship and then deconstruct the spaceship, or at least part of the spaceship. To leave the Arco chest where you want it. And you'd better make some kind of blueprint or something to be precise about where you leave, uh, land the ship. Because you're not going to get do-overs. Well, you could, but you might have to uh, fly all the way back and forth again. Piccadilly's just makes it easier. What's all this? Oh, wait, no? Yes. Do we need more train depots? I don't think so, because this one's always empty. They just prefer the nearer ones for the most part. Hmm. It's times like this, I think maybe density of train storage is not the highest priority for train depots. Maybe better flow in and out is important, but then it's got pretty good flow in and out as well. But if all of the input was like Northwest, output northeast, and vice versa, for example, maybe this would be a bit smoother. Might be worth considering a redesign. Or if we just build these, uh, if we move them to slightly more remote locations a bit more a bit more distant from high traffic blocks 
Not that these are particularly high traffic. Hmm. Or we could just, like, put another depot around here somewhere. So that they're not... So that the ones on the west side are not all trying to go here. There is one here, and there's, like, no traffic. So it must be a lot of train jobs that end in this general area. And then the vanilla train schedule brain, uh, train brain just tries to go for the nearest. The nearest train stop with this name that has a train limit that is suitable. These don't have train limits is what I'm noticing. Maybe they should? I don't know, it doesn't really look like... It doesn't really look like it's because the trains are trying to pile onto the one station or anything. Didn't we used to do, like, north to south, for example? Is it even possible to get about as much train storage density and have better flow? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's causing problems, but... Yeah, may maybe this depot should be moved and or duplicated. But I think it's... I don't know. I was going to say it, it, it's a bit more of a function of the trains just wanting to go to the nearest depot stop. But if they're this busy, maybe it's for the best that they don't cross the map to try and stop at another depot. Moving it to one of the exterior grids would help? Yeah, probably. That's what I'm thinking. Or maybe not so exterior that we're not taking advantage of all four corners of the depot. In any case, we have arrived. Wait, 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 wait. Sh Shamofu, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just going to delete this, so... Oh my god. Uh, just going to delete this for now, so that we don't... cross-contaminate with another robot network. And then, that's pretty much all there is to it. Send this thing back to Hagen Orbit. And uh, we actually just want to copy paste this back into place. And the mall will take care of that. What? Wait, what? Oh, I left it programmed to bounce back to Hagen. Hagen orbit, please. You'd lose some storage with a pull through, but the flow would be a lot better, yeah. I'm just hoping to not lose that much storage. Like, ideally, we wouldn't go down to half. Like, uh, like only eight parking spots. Or maybe ten or twelve at best. Anyway, let's 
make something of this Arco. Oops. Oh my god. Alright. Why don't we just delete this and then copy pasta. Actually, I don't think this would happen, but I'm a little bit scared I'm gonna like copy the setting of like what surface this is linked to. So let's not do that. But we do need to make sure that we connect this here. Oh, and we need some Logibots. Not many, but we may as well make it 50. Just to send the space elevator cables and stuff across to the other side. So we're basically just using a uh, set filters blacklist. And because we can only fit four filters here, uh, we're telling it to completely ignore Hormonite core frags and destroyed space train power packs. And then on this end, we're taking the destroyed space train power packs. Oh yeah, I still haven't made a shortcut for this. Amadeo is number 24. Uh, planet orbit 558. Create a new one. Number 24. There it is. Cool. Uh, so on this end we've got... What? Request a chest with the destroyed space train power packs. Uh, kind of a... We can't do the set filters blacklist... With this because it would pick up the Holmanite core frags. We don't have enough uh, filter slots, so we just subtract everything that's in this, and then we have a bunch of positive signals from a constant combinator. Set filters whitelist. So we're just trying to keep like 12 of each of these in the chest. Simple as that. And now we have a whole lot of Hormonite. Which is going to run out pretty quickly because we've only... We've only actually set up like one drill. And that's with two drills actually placed and one of them inactive. So it's half as fast as it should be. Uh, but it is functional. And we'll soon dramatically increase our Hormonite flow, I imagine. We should probably make something of our direct belting. Um, I kind of want to just... Just kind of insert it into the direct belting we've got over here already. How about this? Oh, that lines up. No, it's one off. That's one off from what I had in mind. Rude. That's so rude.
same thing over here. Tyranno one off. One off indeed. Or you go. Thank you very much for the nine months with Prime. Welcome in Twitch, baby. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you here again today. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Alright, so this will go here. And we're going to put some splitters in here, of course. Before we do that, or rather, before we finish the belts. Put that there first. That way we don't get any pulmonite where it's not supposed to be. Right. And on the opposite end... Uh, I mean, I could just push stuff straight into this container. It's going to be just as messy as anything else, though. already goes here. That's gonna be a bit clunky, but whatever. Mm, I guess this is fine. It may look a little weird, but it's kind of cozy. And if we push enough stuff through here that the direct belt is too slow, the trains can take it elsewhere. Fantastic. All right. We're paying an awful lot of uh, space elevator cables for not very much Hormonite throughput at the moment. Uh, yeah. I think off stream I'll uh, keep expanding this. I'll probably be reading the Foundation audiobook, or books, while I do it. What should we do in the meantime? I said I was going to finish a little bit earlier, but I got a bit of a second wind, but... I think it's probably better if we save some energy for tomorrow. Particularly since I can't really think what to do right this second. Oh yeah, I already fixed this. 24 to upgrade. Uh, all of our Naquitite, the crushed Naquitite, has prod nines. Indeed. Yeah, I, look, I want to I want to do Factorio tomorrow as well. Make up for the missed days because of the power out. Ooh. There's no way we're actually patching up on Holmium Cable because I added like 19 per second frag, four frags, surely. And definitely not so soon. Now that has to be a coincidence. There's no way.
Yeah, we're, we're still trying to make superconductive cable. Okay. Uh, let's figure out who we're going to raid. And we'll pick up tomorrow. Who all is streaming Factorio? Quite a few people. Anyone doing SE? Maybe K2. Uh, I'm literally trying to skim this stuff through blurry eyes. Crestorio 2. That one's not in English. I don't know if we're going to find one. Factory no that one's not English either. Oh, it's Rayclaw. Is that K2 without SE? I don't think we've raided Rayclaw before, have we? Let's see. How's the mic and video quality? As long as it's not terrible will definitely have to be in the mall because mm. yeah it has a lot of we've definitely heard better I don't know if there's anyone else doing K2 or SE though that's uh, speaking my language I don't think so right now Is at least talking? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it takes a few minutes before you hear anything. Alright, well, let's give Rayclaw a go today. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. We'll pick up uh, SEK2 tomorrow, where hopefully I won't be melting quite as much. See you next time, guys. Yeah, remove you. Uh, I am going to...